Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today's video is a very special video because in today's video I'm going to share with you how I prepare my skin for that full glam body makeup. Whenever I'm doing a full glam party makeup for some special occasions like birthday party or marriage ceremony, I prep my skin in a particular way that I'm going to share with you. Now it often happens, we follow our beauty gurus and we do the exact same thing but we do not get the exact same result. Probably because you are not prepping your skin in a right way. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to prep your skin for those special occasions. Now remember one thing, I do not necessarily follow all these steps whenever I'm doing uh, like a day-to-day -day makeup. I follow all these steps whenever I'm doing a very full glam look for a very special occasion. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I just wash my face, apply a toner, apply a moisturizer and I start doing my makeup. And I do all these steps at least half an hour prior to my makeup application. If you like this look over here, this emerald green half cut crease eye look, I already uploaded it on my channel. I will link that video down in the description bar below, so please go ahead and check that out. And one more thing, I have used all Maybelline product to create this look over here. This is a one brand makeup tutorial using all Maybelline products. And I'm sure you're gonna love this one, so please do check that out. I will mention the link in the description bar below. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first step is shaving your face. Now I prefer to do it one day prior to the event and if you shave your face it will take care of all those baby hair and your skin will be softer and smoother. It will take care of all those dead skin cells and your foundation, your makeup, your highlighter, blush, everything will apply smoothly. I prefer to do it one day prior to the event because number one shaving can make your skin really sensitive and you do not want to apply any kind of makeup on a sensitive skin right number two shaving can cause redness on your skin and if your skin is red you have to use another color corrector to manage that and if you do not do so your foundation your concealer it will not look that good so yeah i want to avoid that situation that's why i shave my face one day prior to the event Number three, accident can happen and you may cut yourself accidentally while shaving your face and if you do so, it takes some time to heal. And if you shave your face one day prior to the event, it will have some time to heal and you do not want to apply a foundation or any kind of makeup right away on top of any kind of injury, so it's a good idea. Number four, shaving can make your skin really really dry and if your skin is really really dry and dehydrated, your makeup will not glide on smoothly. So yeah, those are the reasons why I prefer to shave my face one day prior to the event. If you want a separate video on how I shave my face, the steps that I follow, uh, the products that I use, the precautions that I take, then please leave a comment down below. I will definitely make a video for you. And the next step is cleaning your face. For that, I'm using this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and I'm going to take one pump of it, massage it well for like one minute, then I'm going to rinse it with lukewarm water and then I'll be back. And if you guys do not know, this is my holy grail product. I swear by this product, it, it has just transformed my skin. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend you this cleanser. So yeah, I have washed my face. Now I'm going to scrub. Yes, scrubbing is really, really important. It will take care of all those dead skin cells and your makeup will look flawless. And for scrubbing, I'm using this Biotic Bio Papaya Revitalizing Tan Removal Scrub. And I'm going to take like this much of product and I'm going to scrub my face for straight one or one and a half minutes. I'm concentrating mainly on my nose area because I have some white hairs around my nose and scrubbing will minimize them. So I'm mainly concentrating on my nose area. So it's been uh, about two minutes now. I'm going to rinse it off using lukewarm water then I'll be back. So I have rinsed my face and towel dried it and the next 
step is using a mask now i have a couple of masks that i prefer to use when my skin is really dry and dehydrated and i need that boost of hydration i prefer to use a, a sheet mask and this one is from neutrogena this is the neutrogena hydro boost sheet mask i used it probably yesterday and this one is my absolutely favorite sheet mask so sometimes i prefer to use it and when i'm having a little bit of breakout i prefer to use this body shop tea tree face mask this one is my absolutely favorite face mask and it is again my holy grail product and there is one DIY face mask that I absolutely love that I use almost every time and today's video I'm going to use that particular DIY face mask. So first I'm taking one teaspoon of gram flour or basin. Then I'm adding one teaspoon of rose water. half a teaspoon of raw honey and I'm going to mix it well I have been using this face mask for years now and I can totally see a difference I highly recommend you using this face mask and you can feel your skin is so much softer and smoother just try this face mask even if you're not like applying any makeup in general just use this face mask and you can see the difference so i'm going to keep it for 10 minutes then i'll be back so it's been 10 minutes and i'm going to wash it off using lukewarm water and then i'll be back so i washed it off i towel dried my face and i'm taking an ice cube and i'm wrapping it in a paper towel like this and I'm just massaging it all over on my face. Now it will help to minimize your pores and it will help with the oil secretion and your makeup will be long lasting. Now the next step is applying a toner. I like to wear my toner with my spray bottle. This is my uh, Dickinson's Witch Hazel Toner. Now I'm going to split it all over on my face. And massage it gently. Now the next step is applying a uh, serum. I do not necessarily apply serum every time, but sometimes I do. And for that, I'm using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Toner, and it is almost over. The next and the most important step is applying a moisturizer. Now whenever my skin is really really dry and dehydrated, I go with this Vaseline Intensive Care Deep Moisture Moisturizer. This one right here, this stuff is really really good if you have super duper dry skin that becomes flaky and you know, so this stuff is really important, otherwise I go with this. Uh, Garnia Skin Active Moisture Rescue Gel Cream. This stuff is again really, really good. My makeup sits really well on top of this one, and this is a spot on due for Clinic Moisture Charge. I had Clinic Moisture Charge, I used it earlier, and when I got this one, I was like, oh my god, it's it's exact the same. So, yeah, I'm going to use. I don't know which one my skin is not that dry so I think I'm going to go with this Ganya one today it has a very nice cooling sensation which I absolutely love now the next step is applying an under eye cream if you have oily under eyes then I won't suggest you to apply an under eye cream but I have like my under eyes are not that dry but it's not that oily either so I like to apply an under eye cream for that my favorite one is this L'Oreal Eye Defense under eye cream and I'm going to take it on my ring finger like this 
and I'm just dabbing it underneath my eyes. Last but not least, applying a lip balm. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. And if you have any video request, then feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. Just give me some time to take some preparations. Then for sure, I'm going to make it for you. So yeah, see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care. Mwah.